What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is your boy, Marlon. We are back at it again with another video. So if this is your first time watching, don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button. Turn on that post notification bell so you never miss out on the daily updates that we have in the land of PlayStation and Xbox. If that is something that intrigues you, then this is the place for you. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Do me a favor, give the video a massive thumbs up, share it out very important so we're back at it again with another ps5 pro video if you're brand new and you like ps5 pro informations rumors official news once sony drops it this is the channel for you so we're back at it again with moore's law is dead uh basically saying that listen he knows the full specs of what is supposed to be in the playstation 5 pro he heard from his sources again and also revealing the ai upscaling technology that the ps5 pro is supposed to be having we also heard from AMD's chief technological officer that they're going to be putting this AI upscale in technology in a lot of their gaming devices uh, that they're going to be releasing this year. So there's some evidence there. We also heard from Dr. Shurkin Toto that Sony is going to be dropping the PS5 Pro in the second half of 2024 alongside getting it ready for GTA 6. We also heard from Colin Moriarty that, listen, the PS5 Pro is in the hands of third-party developers. At least one of his friends have access to the PS5 Pro in terms of development. Then we also heard from Tom Henderson that the PlayStation 5 Pro is in the hands of Sony first-party studios and also third-party as well. So lots of insiders there backing up the same claims. And so we're going to be talking about the actual specs and what he is actually saying and also revealing the full name of the AI upscaling technology that Sony is going to be implementing. So we're going to have a video and we're also going to have an article. Link is in the description for you guys to check those things out. So summarizing the PS5 Pro specs, it's supposed to be 45% faster than the PS5 in raw unoptimized rendering performance, two to four times faster than the PS5 in terms of ray tracing, which we already know that Mark Cerny has been working on improving ray tracing already. And it has 67 teraflops of FP16, which translates to 33 teraflops. So there's that one. And it also has uh, 300 TOPs of 8-bit compilation. So there is that one. And at the last part, revealing the actual name of what the AI upscaling technology is going to have. It utilizes PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution PSSR, an AI upscaling DLSS competitor. So there you guys have it, okay? And with this AI upscaling technology, it will basically allow Sony to have developers somewhat patch uh this technology in some of the games or we still don't even know if it's going to be a feature that we can toggle on or off on the playstation 5 pro but the idea here is for you to have a much more stable frame rate versus having frame rates all over the place even though we do have vrr but still like he made an example of 45 to 60 fps differences and Obviously, the PS5 Pro will be powerful enough for us to have a tad bit more performance and a lock experience because that's needed. Considering Dragon's Dogma right now is at 30 frames, the PS5 Pro should be able to be, be able to bring games like that to 60 frames and lock it at 60. He also used another example from 80 to 120 FPS and be able to lock it at 120 FPS, which is really, really, really good. Now, he did touch up on the amount of RAM that is in the PlayStation 5 Pro, which is the same as the base PS5, which is 16 gigs, but it's faster at GDDR6 instead of GDDR5. So there is that one there. Just wanted to touch up on that. Also, let's go ahead and let's dig into the actual article that was typed up on PlayStationUniverse.com. It's pretty much probably gonna be the same stuff that we just gathered here, but I just want you guys to see it for yourselves. All right, so as you guys can see right here, it says rumor PS5 Pro specs revealed 45% uh, faster rendering 
three times ray trace in performance than base consoles so base console i should say sorry so there it is right there it obviously got reveal and if you come down here it's pretty much all the stuff that i've been saying here 67 teraflops of 16 bit floating point and he said that basically don't just look at this and be like oh the teraflops meaning oh yeah this is performance like this is indicating performance increases no it is not uh, indicating that so not like at the beginning of this generation where a lot of people was going off of that and saying yeah um this means raw performance and we're gonna see some huge gains but this is the number that he's saying that sony is aiming for and going with is the 45 percent uh faster performance so that they can use that to basically give us you know a much more stable or frame rate much more locked in frame rate and just an overall better performing uh games as we progress into the future and yeah so pretty much just going over just everything else that i just said improve ray trace capabilities and up to three times as fast as the launch model playstation 5 and we did talk about the playstation spectral super resolution upscaling anti-aliasing solution powered by a custom machine learning architecture using 300 tops uh, so there you guys go uh, 300 TOPS sorry of 8-bit uh, computation and 67 teraflops of 16-bit floating point so there is that man interesting stuff here with games like Grand Theft Auto 6, which is on the horizon, we just got an article on that basically saying that it's going to be the most important game of the generation. That is the game that a lot of people want to see how that's going to run on consoles. Now, if all of this stuff is true about the PS5 Pro, then I could see this running at what 60 FPS in terms of GTA 6 on the PS5 Pro but only time will tell all of this sounds good on paper now the image that was shown on his youtube channel which i am not going to show is pretty much showing you the image difference between fsr2 and this pssr uh tech upscaling technology and he did say that it looks a little bit better than fsr2 which is pretty good because now we're at fsr3 and soon to be DLSS 4 um, when the 50 series cards come out. And yeah, so that wraps it up, guys, because there's a lot of games right now that are struggling to have a locked in uh, FPS, you know, whether it's 60, whether it's 120, whatever the case may be. And the PS5 Pro, if developers fully utilize this machine, we can definitely see the performance gains uh, that we're actually looking for. And knowing Mark Cerny, knowing Sony, first party studios are really going to benefit a lot from the PlayStation 5 Pro. Um, maybe there might be some limitations that they're going through right now with PS5 that the ps5 pro might be able to just enhance and make a lot better games like ghost of tsushima 2 games like death stranding 2 and there's so many other games you know spider-man 3 there's a lot of other games that are currently in development uh, that can definitely help with much more powerful hardware so let me know y'all thoughts in the actual comment section hit that like button leave your comments down below and let me know what you think about the playstation 5 pro will you be picking it up if all these specs are true or will you just be picking it up because you want the most powerful machine to play grand theft auto 6 let me know all of that stuff and more catch you guys in the next video and peace much love we out